ਹੋਵੇ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਮੇਲ ਅਪਸ ਦਾ ਕਿ ਚੋੜੀ ਕੀ ਜਿਸ ਕਿ ਜਿਹਨ ਕਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੀ ਦੇ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਐਸਟਰ ਸਿਵਾਇ ਨੇਮ ਕੀ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਬਤਾ ਦੇ ਨੋ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਾ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਫਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਨਾ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਫਸਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਫਸਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਐਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਫਸਟ ਨਾਉ ਐਂਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਨਾਉ ਦਾ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਆਫ ਹਾਊ ਦਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸ ਬਿਹੇਵਸ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਪਰੀਮੈਂਟਲ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਐਂਡ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਟੈਕਨੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਵ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਆਫ ਮੈਟਰ the moment of matter the matter through the space and time of the universe physics is the study of nature around the world earth lot of definitions are belongs to the physics we study the everything in our universe and in our earth those are belongs to the those are belongs to the physics because the study of physics is classified into two types one is short range study of physics one is long range study of physics the short range study of physics is called microscopic study of physics the long range study of physics is called macroscopic study of physics that is called astronomical study of physics okay now we are going to the look into microscopic study of physics the microscopic study of physics we already said it is short range study of physics it deals with microscopically small mass of particles it deals with microscopically small mass of particles like atoms this is also atom this is also atom every atom has a nucleus this is nucleus every nucleus have protons and neutrons here protons are positive sir neutrons are chargeless electrons in atom always revolve around to the this nucleus electrons are always negative sign okay the nucleus always have positive charge and attractive force are these nucleus releases attractive force these attractive forces are attracted to nucleus for every element every particles in atom now we are going to we are going to the full structure of the atom the study of a uh, study and observation of the small microscopic particle what happened in the inner and outer now we are going to brief observation in atom atom is atom is this is atom every atom has nucleus the electrons in atom always revolve around in this nucleus why because the nucleus have heavily positive charge particles have those are protons neutrons here protons have only charge positive charge protons are chargeless particles because we know the size of atom is 10 power of minus 10 meter the nucleus size is 10 power of minus 14 meter and as well as the proton in nucleus the proton size in atom is 10 power of minus 15 meter as well as the quarks quarks in the part of protons okay the quark size is 10 power of minus 8 meter per second okay now we clearly know in what is the structure of atom on inner part and outer part of the nucleus okay now we are going to isotopes how the uh, uh, microscopic particles study and uh, express to this is isotope this is protonium deuterium tritium like that now we are going to protonium deuterium tritium now we are looking into the hydrogen atom 
physics is called physics. Okay, because the, the study of everything is called physics in long run or short run. Because that is then called physics. Now we are now uh, what is the physics? Now we are going to the basics of physics. All of the following basics units of physics. We have seven fundamental quantities of the international system of units. Now we are going to seven fundamental quantities. There, uh, there are mass, length, time, current, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity. Mass is divided by small m, length is divided by m, time is divided by t, current is divided by i. Temperature is divided by T. Amount of substance divided by M. The luminous intensity is divided by L. Now we are going to discuss about the mass. The quantity of object. The quantity of object first found is the pounds. After that it is cannot into grams and kilograms at 1960s. Okay. The mass is mass of SI units is kilogram CGS units are centimeters now we are going to market we bring we brought some some vegetables some items how to ask please give me 10 tomato please give me 10 potato not like this we ask it to seller Please give me half kg potato, 1 kg potato, 3 kg potato, 100 grams chips, something like that. Because it is a fundamental, first fundamental physical quantity. Now we are going to length. The length is measured by the distance in between any two points. The units of the, the SI units of the length is meter. And the CGS units are centimeters. Now we are going to the time. Time is observation of any two two points. Observation time interval time interval observation any two points are often. It is the SI units of the time is always seconds for CGS or CGS or S. Now we are going to correct. Current is the flow of electrons is current. The flow of electrons is current. Here, the SI units of the current is ampere. It is denoted by A. And as well as the temperature. Temperature is the, as well as temperature. Temperature is like that. The observation of the measurement of a body, it is cold or hot. It is expressed to that is cold or hot because it is denoted by T. The SI units of temperature is K. Symbol is K. Symbol is K. Now we are going to. Now we are going to. Now we are going to. Now we are going to discuss about. Amounts are amount of substance. Now we will measure a room of temperature, a room of molecules. molecules. How much molecules have in a room or a vacuum tube, anything? That is measured by a sub, a amount of substance. It is the SI units of it is mole and luminous intensity. The light intensity is measured by luminous intensity uh, the assignments of luminosity is candela cd okay these are the seven fundamental physical quantities these are the seven fundamental physical quantities now, uh, now we are looking into another fundamental physical quantities and these are called derived fundamental quantities why because these are called uh, fundamental physical quantities these are derived from uh, seven fundamental physical quantities because uh, these are called fundamental physical quantities. 
derived at the point x is a curve fundamentally derived from the point x made by fundamental physical constants because these are displacement area volume speed velocity acceleration force energy density moment power earth momentum pressure now we are going to the displacement displacement is the the shortest distance traveled by a object or body the shortest path traveled by an object is called displacement displacement is always denoted by x or d the si units of the displacement is meters cgs units are centimeters now we are going to discuss about area area of a surface area of a room area of a table like that we how we measure area how we measure to area now we are going to the area area is the area is defined to the product of length into breadth of length into breadth okay it is denoted by capital the si units of the area is meter square the cgs units of the area is centimeter square now we are going to volume volume of a tube volume of a room volume of a space anything anything space like that uh, rooms like that how to define value value is the product of length into breadth into height because it the si it is uh, denoted by capital uh, the si units of the value mean meter cube meter cube meter cube now we are going to the speed speed is the uh, defined by speed is defined by s how it defined the total path length traveled by the total time it is called distance okay distance now how to define speed the time taken for the time taken for total distance is called speed the it is the si units of the it is meter per second cgs units are centimeter per seconds okay now we are going to velocity velocity is when we are find the rate of change of displacement is called velocity the rate of change of displacement is called velocity is measured by the the si units of the velocity is meter per second as like as speed now cgs are centimeter per seconds now we are going to the acceleration the acceleration okay now we are going to discuss acceleration it is the rate of change of velocity the rate of change of velocity with respect to we define velocity speed acceleration with respect to time now we are discuss acceleration acceleration is denoted by n the si units of the acceleration is meter per second square cgs units are centimeters per second square now we are going to discuss force force is force is defined by capital f or denoted by capital f it is defined to the product of mass into acceleration of a body mass into acceleration of a body because mass is mass the units of mass is kg acceleration is meter per second square kg meter per second square per and uh, per s units per axial uh, force d is kg meter per second square is denoted by newtons totally the s units of the force is newton the cgs units of the force is dynes one newton equal to 10 power 5 dyne okay now we are going to look into the energy energy is able to do work energy is called ability to do work it is denoted by e defined by it is able to do work 
Okay, the assignments of the energy is joules. The assignments of the energy is joules. Okay. Now one joule equal to one joule equal to ten power uh, assignments of the joule equal joule equal to newton meter. Newton meter. And one joule equal to ten power of minus seven ergs. Ergs is the CGS units of the energy. Okay, now we are going to discuss about density. Density is the unit mass of the unit mass per volume. The unit mass per volume. And m by v, it is density is defined by uh, m by v divided by rho. The SI units of the the SI the SI units of the the density is kg per meter cube. Kg is a SI units of meter uh, mass. Uh, meter cube is a SI units of value because kg meter per kg per meter cube. Okay, like that. Um, the CGS units of the density is grams per centimeter cube. Okay, now we are going to momenta. Momenta is is denoted by capital T. It is also as like as compared with the energy and the SI units of of energy and momenta is same newton meter. Okay, now we are going to the power. Now we are going to power. Power is denoted by capital T. The definition of the power is work for unit time. Work for unit time. The SI units of the power equal to what? One watt equal to newton per newton meter per second. Newton meter per second. It is energy work by Newton meter per second means joule per t. Okay. Power equal to work by t. The work per unit time. Work units of work is units of work is one joule. Joule. Joule per second means power. Okay. It is divided by v. Power is divided by p. Uh, the units of watts equal to the Newton meter per second. Now we are going to work. Work is a little bit of omega or W. Here, the definition of the work is the product of force into displacement. Displacement means it is denoted by S or X. You know, our uh, displacement is always the SI units of meters, and force is the always the SI units of the force is the kg meter per second scale. Now we are going to discuss the force kg meter square per second square. Here kg meter per second square is newton because newton meter. So k is the SI units of newton meter. As well as now we will discuss about CGS units of the work here. And for five to nine centimeter. Now we are going to momentum. Momentum is not by mass. Here, the definition of momentum is the product of mass and velocity. The assign units of the momentum is kg meter per second, and it is. Divided by n s and newton seconds. Newton seconds. Now we are going to discuss about the pressure. 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 Pressure is divided by p. Defined by a unit. A unit force per area. A unit force applied per area is called. The SI units of the pressure is Pascal. P equal to Newton per meter square. Why? Because the force by area is called pressure. Because force is the SI units of the force is Newton. 
area in mid scale because we this is the derived teaching quantities. Derived teaching quantities are derived from fundamental teaching quantities. Okay. This is the basics of physics. All, all are follow these fundamentals of physics to after to understand easily physics. Okay. Bye. See you later.